Hi, it's a car vlog. I'm getting ready to go pick up my daughter from preschool. Today is her fourth birthday. Oh my goodness, I just got through setting up the house. And I want to go get one of those new Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes. Because didn't they come out today? When I'm filming this, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that it's out today. But if I swing by Starbucks with my daughter after preschool, she's going to want a cake pop. And I already have cake for her for dinner tonight for her birthday. And then she already had cupcakes for school. So that's too much sugar. <laughs> so I'm going to have to suck it up and go get my pumpkin spice latte iced. Hopefully tomorrow when I don't have her. That's the plan. Let me know, are you a pumpkin spice latte fan or not? Hi, I'm Melanoma Mom. My friends and family call me Sean. I was diagnosed on a more serious note in January of 2021 with melanoma skin cancer, had surgery in February of 2021, and now I'm on a mission to live my life differently, which is what this video is about. It is six months after my diagnosis and I thought I would talk about what all has changed because it's, it's been some pretty drastic things. First, my entire daily routine has changed and now revolves around sunscreen application and UPF clothing. Like right now, I have on a UPF um, zip up hoodie. Got my little sun protector sleeve thumb holes going on, covered in sunscreen. <laughs> And I'm wearing black. I'm also wearing jeans because evidently I no longer wear shorts because it's too much trouble to put sunscreen all over my white legs and it's just easier to wear pants. Before skin cancer, I wore shorts. Like every normal person in, in the summer, I wore shorts. I wore tank tops out. Now I'm pretty much fully covered when I go outside. I don't even bare my arms unless it's nighttime or 6 p.m. at night or 5 in the morning. Now the sun's hottest, the UV index is highest between 10 and 2. That's the other thing that has changed. I would definitely be out in nature starting at 10 o'clock through lunchtime, hiking, doing stuff. And I still do that, but not as often as I used to. Like if we're gonna plan a family little hike or a family walk at the beach, I don't do it from 10 to 2. It's gonna be after two o'clock. Honestly, if I'm honest, it's gonna be after three o'clock and I'm gonna be fully dressed. Now, the other day I did do an impromptu stop at the beach and it was, what time was it? It was around 2.30ish. Still dressed, head to toe, <laughs> me at the beach. <laughs> In jeans, yes. I did go barefoot, still had a hat on. That's another thing that has changed, hats. I was never a hat person until having melanoma skin cancer. I do not like hats. I don't enjoy them. I don't the way, like the way they leave a band across your forehead. I don't like how you sweat underneath them. I still don't like hats, but I'm starting to uh, reconsider and think that I look cute. And I always have a hat on me. I've got probably two in the car right now with me. Back to sunscreen. I apply sunscreen from the moment I wake up until probably I re reapply every every two hours. If I'm inside a lot of the day, I won't reapply for like four or five, but honestly I should still be reapplying every two because UV comes through windows. That is still an ongoing adjustment for me. I'm finding sunscreens that I like and that I enjoy, but it is horribly inconvenient to reapply every two hours. Right now I'm looking at my hands going, I'm sitting out in the car and I have yet to apply my favorite hand sunscreen. <laughs> Some moisturizer and a sunscreen. So I need to do that before I leave. It's just inconvenient to wear, to reapply sunscreen over makeup. I have a whole video I just did on that on what my best tips and advice and which sunscreens work best over makeup. I'll leave that linked in the description box down below. The other thing about sunscreen that has changed is the amount of it that I own and the variety of sunscreens. Before I probably owned two or three sunscreens, like one for my face and maybe two options for my body. Well, I have a whole sun sunscreen collection. I'll leave that video link down below. I wish I, I should have counted how many sunscreens I have, but I have sunscreens for literally every occasion. Sunscreens that I like to wear just at home when I'm in the house. Sunscreens to wear to the beach and the pool. 
sunscreens to wear just out and about. White sunscreens that I can wear with white t-shirts and tanning, not tanning, but like tinted sunscreens I can wear on my body, but only if I'm wearing black clothing. So many sunscreens. I had no idea I would become sunscreen obsessed. Sun protective clothing. Before skin cancer, I probably had like a rash guard. I know I had a rash guard that was like a zip up hoodie that I would take to the beach. And I've had that thing for like eight to 10 years. And that's what I wore was like a UPF protective rash guard at the beach. I didn't have any other sun protective clothing. Now I own a lot and I wear it every single day. Now it's not the only clothing that I wear like this right here. This is a suburban riot t-shirt. It's not UPF protective, but it's black, so it's blocking out a lot of the UV rays. And I've also used SunGuard to treat my white and pink, light pink clothing to make it UPF 30. Yes, I have a video on that. I'll leave it linked below if you wanna see how I protect all my clothing. Looking at and taking pictures of my skin daily. Now I don't take pictures of my skin daily, but I do look at my skin daily. <laughs> all my freckles, all my spots to see if any have changed. And if anything looks suspicious to me, if it looks darker, it looks like it's bigger, I will snap a picture and compare it with previous pictures that I own. I am obsessed with taking pictures, but it gives me peace of mind to look to see if anything has changed laying out by the pool or at the beach, enjoying the warmth of the sun coming through the car and hitting me on the arm, enjoying the warmth of the sun on my bare skin out on my back porch. I no longer do any of that. Actually, if I feel the warmth of the sun on my bare skin, I instinctually pull that part of my skin away and think, does that have sunscreen on it? If it doesn't, you need to put it in your sleeve. I've been known to walk around like this or drive my car like this <laughs> so that the sun doesn't get it. And it's not that, I mean, I am a little fearful, but it's not like debilitating fear. It's more, I, I wanna live as long as I possibly can. And if I get melanoma skin cancer, again, the chances of living a very long life are to go down. And I have two kids. I want to live as long as possible. So yes, I'm going to protect my skin as often as I can. Looking at my children's skin. So my son is 13. I am constantly saying, did you put your sunscreen on? Are you wearing sunscreen? And I'm pretty sure 90% of the chance he's, he lies to me and, and says he is, but he hasn't. But he's 13. Not too much I can do there. But my three-year-old, oh, four. She's four today. She's four. <laughs> yes, constantly looking at her skin. I did recently take her to the dermatologist to look at a spot that I thought might be melanoma. I have a video on that. Turns out um, we're watching. We're taking pictures and watching and waiting to see about the spot on her foot. I'm constantly looking at her skin. I'm constantly putting sunscreen on her head to toe every morning. When she gets home from preschool, she puts it on again. I don't want her to deal with this when she's 40 like I am. I don't want her to have skin cancer. So it's my job as her parent to protect her. Enjoying my family and nature more. I am so thankful to be alive. Yes, when I look at nature, I just stop and say, thank you, God, for nature. Now, I did this before, but now it just really sinks into the heart and to the core of, I am alive. I must enjoy every moment I possibly can because I had a brush with death. <laughs> it has given me a new vigor for life. Also, besides looking at nature and being out in nature, which I've always loved, just enjoying the small moments with my family, enjoying catching a frog in my house the other day. Yes, that happened. My husband called me out of bed, said there was a frog at our front door inside the house and to come look at it. When secretly he just wanted me to catch it because he doesn't like touching frogs. And of course the frog peed on me, which they always do. I don't know what it is with frogs. When you pick them up, they just pee. <laughs> so anyways, why did I tell you that story? No idea. Oh, vigor for life. I'm going to touch that frog. I'm going to pick up that frog, even though I know it's going to pee on me <laughs> because I love it and I appreciate it. And I'm glad to be alive. Taking better care of myself. Since my daughter was born, I have not been taking care of myself very well. This year, 2021, is my year for taking care of myself, which is how I discovered my melanoma in the first place. I have a whole story on that. It's linked in the description box below too. Exercising, I'm still struggling with eating better, so I'm not doing as good on that as I want to, but I'm exercising daily. 
and I'm making sure I go to all my doctor's appointments, which I never did before. So there's that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.